Well, Greg, thanks very much for now. Let's uh, pick up with one of those themes that Greg was finishing with there. Let's speak to Colin Brown from the Institution of Mechanical Engineers because, of course, we've been concentrating. The reason that all of these airports are closed is the impact, what this dust actually does to engines thousands of feet uh, above the ground. So uh, let's take us through that. And, Colin, just explain to our viewers just the exact nature of the dangers here. Well, to use a classic phrase, it's the wrong kind of dust. It's a combination of particle size that allows the dust to stay in the atmosphere for a long time. If it was heavier, it would fall out. And composition, that means that when it gets into these very hot engines, it melts and clogs the engines. And presumably, there's nothing that can be done once you've flown into it. Nothing at all. The, the reason that uh, these precautions are in place is that it's extremely unsafe to fly into these uh, clouds. You're in a situation where modern jet engines, to make them efficient and to have the sort of carbon emissions that we want and to have the, the cost of travel that we want, they've got very, very high temperatures inside of them and they rely on cooling air to stop the engine melting. If you block off those cooling passages with this fine melting dust, then the engine will melt. You'll lose all of the, uh, of the power. And we've heard about stories before where aircraft have vi vi virtually fallen out of the sky. Exactly on that point. I was speaking to the flight engineer from that uh, jumbo jet back in 1982 that lost all four engines over Indonesia. I mean, they did restart them. They managed to. I mean, given what you were saying about how this dust clogs up the engine, I mean, how did the engine actually restart then? Well, they were extremely fortunate that uh, there are two things that can really go wrong. One is that it can clog up such that the combustor fails and the, and the, uh, the fuel stops burning. That's the safe way. The other way is that it can clog up the cooling passages on the high-pressure turbine and that will then melt so that even if you're still combusting the fuel, there are no blades for the fuel and the burnt air to push around to get any power from. So they were fortunate that it was the combustor that went out and they were able to relight it. Well, Colin, thanks for joining us uh, today to give us uh, that uh, insight into exactly what is happening with those engines. Uh, thanks very much for your time. Of course, uh, just uh, the end point of all of this is, to, is that uh, UK airports uh, right across the country have been shut. And it's not just the UK. We've heard in the last hour or so, 24 airports now in France, 